Hi, I'm Chad, and you're watching Square Body Stuff. All right, if you're a subscriber to this channel you've been watching, you know we are building a 339 stroker out of a 305 block with a three and three quarter inch stroke crankshaft. Now, my last video, I cleaned up all the rods, pistons, and all that stuff, getting them ready to put into this block. And while I was showing how to put the spiral locks in, these guys, so I thought I'd do a video on just installing the spiral locks. Of course, what are spiral locks? These are the retainers. They go inside the grooves on your piston to retain your wrist pin. If you have floating pins. Now if you have press fit, whole different ball game, you don't need these guys. I do also have these style of retaining clips, the snap ring style. I don't prefer to use these. Uh, they would be okay, maybe a street application, something you're not gonna run real hard. My preference, uh, there may be people out there making 1,000, 2,000 horsepower running these things and don't have any problems. That's fine. Uh, but I prefer to use the more positive style of the double spiral lock. My goal is to show you guys how to install these things without being really, really super frustrated with them. Because these little guys can make you bleed by the time you get done installing 32 of them. And if you got fat little sausages like I do, you'll understand the frustration. Now it is possible to do these without a vise. You can put some padding down, a towel down on your table, and kind of wrestle them around, but it's just a whole lot easier if you have them clamped solid so where you can use both hands. You'll need a screwdriver or pick or something, something to help push that thing down in there. The way I start out, so I'll get it separated. I just kind of pinch the end of my finger, get it right underneath my fingernail. Get it pinched on my finger just to get it started in that groove and i try my best not to get these open ends on this opening here uh your piston may or may not have that but i'll get it started and sometimes it don't go that well i'm not going to cut or edit any of this this can be live action if it fights me it fights me in a way i kind of hope it does fight me so you know the frustration but I also want to make sure you guys can see it done where it's not so frustrating. Get it started. Do your best not to mar up your piston any. Now if we're working on this side, you want to try to pull the other side away from that to kind of stretch the ring around a little bit. You don't want to horse it too much and stretch the ring out too bad. But if you pull it the opposite direction that it's trying to go in, they'll almost just flop right in there. I'll make a note here too that on this piston, this pin boss goes into the lower ring land, the oil pack. And this tab can hang up on me. I gotta make sure that this end of this ring stays above that when I once I get to this point. So if it gets hung down in here. It won't push down. I'll get it above there, get it started. Once you get past that point, get it down in there, push it, and it snaps in. I'll go ahead and finish pushing it on down so we can get to have room for our second one. All right, now we got to get our second one in there. And I try to do it with the openings 180 out from the other one. You may have a different preference if you've done these before. That's just how I prefer to do them. And doing it with my left hand, trying to get my finger in there is... There we go. Get started. And there we go that one kind of snapped twice but it did seat in there all the way 
and you'll have to look down in there make sure they're all kind of even or seated in there evenly another little note i'd like to make if your pistons have some big domes on them it may be harder to clamp in a vise or anything so you may have to do them out on a table now to keep this video kind of short and sweet i'm not going to show you doing the other side because it's pretty much the same thing it's just you're just going to have that pin in there i hope this video has helped somebody out i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button share this with your friends until next time y'all keep your square bodies rolling and we'll catch you later Thank you.